they were saying they weren't having the Vietnam War. I remember for a couple of years, they said, no, there's no war in Vietnam, you hippies are crazy, right? Well, I was one of those hippies. And, uh, and I was traveling around like Tom and, you know, everybody else uh, with the guitar and making music. And I had a concert in Toronto, but I was coming from Mexico and I spent the night in San Francisco airport. And in the middle of the night, here came these medics wheeling their friends and, you know, wheelchairs and gurneys and things. And they told me, hey, there's a war in Vietnam. And I got to thinking, who is it who's responsible for war? Is it these poor guys lying there who probably enlisted for patriotic or family tradition to see the war or something? And I got to thinking, yeah, in a way, yeah. And then I got to thinking about career military officers who spend their entire adult lives getting advanced degrees in how to make war better. And I thought, wow, there's a responsibility. And do you know, as proud as I am of our generation for having helped to stop that war, and put Lyndon Johnson out of business, we still, we still, all these, these years later, there are five major colleges of war, Annapolis, West Point, the Army College of War, the Air Force Academy, the Royal Military Academy, we don't have one college of that, that clout, that financial aid, that seriousness dedicated to alternative conflict resolution. So then I'm thinking, well, who is it who actually makes the phone call or presses the button, whatever? Oh, it's the politician. And so now I thought I had it. And by the time I went on stage that night, I was thinking, oh, who is it who votes for politicians in this world? You know, it's you and me. So this is a song about individual responsibility for the world we live in. It's called Universal Soldier. This is not the way 